noir. If you're thinking of The Godfather or Scarface, you might be on the wrong page. To fully get the message Sunmi is trying to deliver, we need to watch the MV first. <laughs> The first lyrics seem like a couple having a bad relationship. So how is this noir and what's going on with the MV? Well, to understand this song, you have to approach it in two different ways. The first approach would be understanding it solely through the lyrics. The second approach would be understanding it by adding the music video itself. So before we go on to the deeper meaning, first, let's take a quick look on the lyrics. So it seems like an ordinary love song where the couple is having constant issues with their relationship. They don't match, they sense a bad ending is coming, minds start to black out, they get tired with each other and finally feel indifferent and just break up or whatever. There's no you, we're in noir, let me go now. Basically, without watching the MV and just listening to the lyrics of this song, it would make total sense as a song especially relatable for couples that are in a fatigue phase. This is a very clever lyrical choice to make the song sound somewhat ambiguous so that it can exist as a breakup song to casual listeners who don't follow the MV releases and stuff. And the theme noir applies perfectly too because noir films usually have a consistent, overused, very dark, gloomy vibe where the character is driven by some desire that leads to self-destruction or demolition of a relationship or even everything. So the relationship situation here would be a literal noir film where everything is black and white and the conclusion is obviously heading towards destruction. But now let's leave out the superficial listeners and see how it changes in meaning with the music video. It all starts with Sunmi eating a heart-shaped candy. In fact, nearly everyone in the world these days consumes it on a daily basis. Now she has a whole box of it, and you can see it's very addictive and has materialized into things like bunny hats. That's called the insatem in Korea. And people so-called kwanjongs, attention seekers, started wearing them after K-pop stars started introducing them and made it popular. We can see that Sunmi starts faking various situations for more likes and attention. She takes pictures with various props that make her seem like she's traveling to good places when reality is actually shit. She even pretends she's sick or in a crucial situation to get more likes and views, and you can see it's actually working. She literally says she feels high because of the likes. At the same time, the number of likes don't mean anything to her anymore because she's already getting tons. Now she has so much injuries because she has been doing self-destructive behavior out of anxiety and fear of getting unfollowed or disliked. Nevertheless, we can see that she would rather receive dislikes and hate comments than nothing, even though it might not be that tasty. Out of anxiety, she pushes her limits and does even more self-destructive and excessive behavior for the desire of attention. It's identical to the typical film noir plot narrative, which everyone knows what the ending will be like. Feel like nobody else is here. Feel like nobody else is here. Now no more than pure No need to take a look. Next. Drug addiction destroys oneself and makes a person into a so-called junkie. You crave nothing other than drugs and your eyes lose focus, you act crazy and become crazy. The drug here in Sunmi's noir would be obviously attention and likes.
The scene shows Hummy addicted to hashtags and hearts that look like drugs. She definitely seems high and goes far enough to finally hurt herself for more drugs, I mean likes and attention. And what's shocking is she doesn't even feel the pain. At this point, likes and views are top priority that has devoured up her sense of what's right or wrong. She's become like a junkie that would sell her own organs or house for drugs, basically anything. It reminds you of the controversial term, attention for. At the end of the MV, we can see that she has finished filming for Instagram pictures and stuff. And for an instant, she seems like she has become sane again, back to her self-controlled self. But that's actually not the case. The attention-craving persona has already eaten her true self up and now is in charge of her own life. Now we can conclude that the person she's talking to in the lyrics is not just a boyfriend in a relationship, she's actually talking to herself, well her other self. Just think of it like Jekyll and Hyde or Bruce Banner and Hulk. Except that she's lost the Jekyll and Bruce Banner side of herself now. Ultimately, Sumi's definition of noir is a warning towards the people and generation that seek attention for the cost of self-destruction and maybe even anything. Well, actually, I want to leave this part for Sumi to explain it for herself. 제목이 일단 노아르예요. 프랑스어로 검은 우울한 불길한 우리가 살아가는 지금 시대의 노아르는 뭔지 좋아요나 뭐 구독이나 얻으려고 뭐 위험한 데서 셀카 찍다가 동영상 찍다가 <웃음> 죽는 사람이 매해 늘어난대요. 매해 몇백 명씩. 저는 그게 지금 우리가 살아가는 시대의 노아르가 아닌가. 노아르라는 장르가 영화의 장르고 정해져 있는 게 있지만 사실 저는 그 누아르라는 장르를 그런 쪽으로만 정의하고 싶지 않고 이런 것도 누아르가 될수 있다라는 생각을 했어요.